Jesus emerged from the Big Bang the way it did. We used to think that the theory of the universe could be divided into two parts. First, there were the laws like Maxwell's equations and general relativity that determined the evolution of the universe, given its state over all space at one time. And second, there was the question of the initial state of the universe. We have made good pro progress on the first part, and now have a knowledge of the laws of evolution in all but the most extreme conditions, but until recently, we have had little idea about the initial conditions for the universe. However, this division into laws of evolution, and initial conditions, depends on time and space being separate and distinct. Under extreme conditions, general situation. Now I'm going to discuss how we would look for a new law. In general, we look for a new law by the following process. First, we guess it. <laughs> then we com... Well, don't laugh. That's the really true. Then we compute the consequences of the guess to see what, if this is right, if this law that we guessed is right, we see what it would imply. And then we compare those computation results to nature. Or we say compare to experiment or experience. Compare it directly with observation to see if it, if it works. <coughs> if it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. In that simple statement is the key to science. It doesn't make a difference how beautiful your guess is, it doesn't make a difference how smart you are who made the guess, or what his name is. If it disagrees with experiment, it's wrong. That's all there is to it.